Give me one good reason Caitlin Clark can't play in the NBA. Height, weight, speed, vertical agility, strength. Caitlin Clark would not be able to play for her own men's basketball team, let alone an NBA team. Simples. Can men get pregnant? Oh, uh, I am. You're pregnant? Mm -hmm. You are? Yeah. How about oh, a congratulations? Yeah. Uh, Instead of laughing at me, you could say, like, congrats or something. Congratulations. I'm sorry. Thank you. So how far along are you? Two weeks. How do you know you're pregnant after two weeks? My stomach's been growling more than usual, so... And me and him had... Pause. So I think... Yeah. I think that's where it came from. How long have you guys been together? Two weeks. Yeah. Oh! We were like a one-night yeah. stand. I was finna dip, but I was like, that's my kid. I'm finna stay. So. That's really noble of you. We need more of that. More I know, we need like more you. black fathers. First How do you know so. you don't just have cramps? No, I have a kid too. So this is the second time this has happened. So the first time you had a kid, you felt like... You... Yeah, I felt the same sensation I'm feeling now. Okay, and where did the kid come out of? My... What did he say? Hey! Oh. That's kind of obvious, that, right? Yeah, is that funny or something? No, no, you're right. Our kid's gonna be trade well, A student so funny, and gonna be on the basketball team, so. Yeah, the next LeBron James. <laughs> Slash Yao Ming. That's that kind of obvious, that, right? Yeah, is that funny or something? No, no, you're right. Our kid's gonna be black and ease, too. He's gonna be a straight well, A so student funny, and though. gonna be on the basketball team, so. Yeah, the next LeBron James. <laughs> Slash Yao Ming. What a beautiful, liberal, non-binary, interracial couple. And I can't wait to see what that baby does in the WNBA. Um, this is a queer fat club. Um, I'm, I'm queer and fat. Okay, thank you for joining. We're just um, introducing ourselves at the moment. Okay. Do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself, Joe? Yeah, uh, my name's Joe. I go by he, they, and uh, I identify as 275 pounds. Okay, okay. Um, I feel like Jay's kind of making fun of me, though. I know it's kind of a shock. I know, kind of a new thing. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm Do what? I said I apologize. Oh, no, you're good. Um, are you comfortable leaving the group at the moment? Why? Why? I'm, I'm not understanding why you're joining the group. This is the queer and fat group now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I came here for. Okay. Um, and you said you identify as fat? Yeah. Okay. Um, this is just for fat bodied people. Yeah, I understand. I, I identify as a fat bodied person. I'm not understanding where you're coming from. Are you guys comfortable with me here? I mean, I'm pretty chill on my end. I'm not comfortable. No. Can we take like a vote? Someone tell this kid not to worry. It's clear that he's a beautiful plus size queer woman and they're just jealous. And I know exactly how this feels because I was recently rejected by the lesbian Asian Facebook group. Don't know why. No, when people yeah. say they're offended, just because you're offended, it doesn't mean you're right. It's offense is about feelings and feelings are personal some people are offended by equality so what you can't second guess people if you try and please everyone you'll please no one you know you can't legislate against stupidity otherwise you'll be doing nothing and freedom of speech is so important these yeah. days I i've reached the age now where i don't care anymore <laughs> it's to not to joke about all the bad things that's a waste because that's exactly what we should joke about yeah. it gets if you can laugh in the face of adversity you're bulletproof also why do all these donuts are claimed to be offended by comedians and opposite opinions watch things that they don't need to watch no one's forcing you to watch Ricky Gervais's comedy show or Dave Chappelle's comedy show. Go and watch something else. Go and watch a woke comedian or whatever. Doesn't exist. You can't go around apologizing for jokes. They're jokes. So I've got a plan. The next time I get cancelled over a joke, the next time I upset people with a joke, I'm going to come out on the day of the cancellation. I'm going to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> and the people that I've offended will say, you don't really mean that apology. And I'll say, so you're saying, could say something and not mean it. Now you get it. <laughs> gotcha. What do you think about white men? I think it's just the term white man, just immediate turn off. What do you think of black men? Love. Oh, hell no. <laughs> do you think it's racist to, by default, not like white men? I mean, I don't think so because. I think there's a difference between like racism and. Dis or, that's that's an interesting question. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? It's an interesting question. Yeah, cause like I mean I don't dislike, but there is a like a uh, like nervous feeling. I don't know. So if you met someone who said that they get nervous around black men and that they've had bad experiences with black men, would you still consider that racist? Ooh, yeah, I see your point. <laughs> Bitch, are you dumb? Pardon me? Are you dumb? I think she's I dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. Yeah, just to remind you that this donut can vote and have kids, even though she's only got about two brain cells to work with. Whatever the woke brigade tell her to think, then she's gonna think it. She's basically a brainless sheep. Which one would you date? An MS-13 gang member or a Trump supporter? Oh, uh, gang member. Give it a gang 
member. So I'm gonna go MS13. <sighs> yeah, probably MS13 member. MS13. MS13. All the way. Neither. <laughs> I'll stay single. It's embarrassing that I don't know what an MS13 gang member is. <laughs> So the MS-13 gang are involved in drug, human smuggling, prostitution, murder and extortion, gaining a reputation for extreme violence. Now I'm not American, but I do know a few Donald Trump supporters and I'm pretty sure they're not doing any of those things. Studies that show that trans women have physical advantage over what I'm going to call cis girls, what you call biological girls in sports. Just taking the time we've spent in this committee hearing today, we have only been referring to this whole debate males infiltrating into women's sports. If the argument is that males don't possess advantages over females, then why haven't we spent any time talking about or worrying about women entering men's sports? It's because everyone in this hearing room knows that that's not what we're referring to. Anyone with a brother knows the advantages that males possess over females. So I feel as if the evidence is evident, you look at any sport. Let's take the basketball, the three-point line, is a different distance. The size of the ball is smaller. The amount of layups you see in women's basketball compared to dunks. Men's volleyball, the, the net is seven and a half inches higher than the women's net. I could keep going. If there's no advantages, then why is sports always being separated by gender? And like she said, why do you never see a woman identifying as a man to compete against the men? Because they'll get fucking smoked, that's why. What are your pronouns? Pronouns? Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know, I don't get it. What are my pronouns? Mm. All right, cut real quick. I'm that man. Risk taker. Hustler. Pizza? <laughs> Point of view, you're about to hear the worst opinion ever. So I've seen this one YouTube dumbbell that says Charlie Cook Kirk believes that TikTok is turning children trans. Do you agree with the statement? TikTok is playing a role in making them think that they might have gender identification issues. This is Chloe Cole. She's a detransitioner. In my experience, I learned about transgenderism through the internet at roughly about the age of 11 or 12. And I mean, it captivated me. I had body image issues and it felt like I found the explanation for as to why I felt so different from the women around me. Social media in general led you to believe the wrong idea and that in turn it what made you go down a path that maybe wasn't right for you. I mean it's beyond not right for me. This has left permanent effects on my body. I might not be able to have children. I have complications from the puberty blockers, the testosterone, and the surgery. That's Three correct. years after I've stopped taking all of them. I'm very suspicious about, okay, but oh, I understand. Are you calling her a liar? No. Are you sure about that? I'd like to say that you're wrong about trans people being indoctrinated. I've met hundreds of other detransitioners, some even younger than I was, and have come out of it with trauma that they're left with for life. Sterile. I don't lose sleep over this guy trying to change his gender or his identity or whatever he wants to do. But if I was going to put myself through such major changes, then I'd want to listen to all points of view, not just the people that are telling me it's a good idea, but also the people that have done it and say they regret it. Does it? Yeah. Where where is socialism work? Where is socialism worked? You pay your income tax. Income tax is not socialist. It's not. No. Yeah. Well, I think it's way too high, isn't it? Yeah, but socialism is where everybody pays in. Do you give more than what the government asks you to give each year? Yeah, I do. I you do? Give a lot. You give more to the government? Yeah. So you give more than what the IRS asks you to give? Yeah. You do. Uh huh. Congratulations, you played yourself. Do you see this person next to me? E is my friend. C has had to put up with a lot to get to where Purr is today. I just want to let Glint know that Thon is valid. Shut up, you know what you sound like? You sound like, um, like a DJ. Wiki 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 wiki. You know what I'm talking about? Wiki wiki fresh. Cool. Oh, yeah. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for what you're doing. Yeah. I'm sorry, I forgot really to say, well you need to stop drinking Coke Zero two, on stream. Why? Why? Boycott. Wait, is it? You're um, preaching pro Palestine and you're uh, drinking all this boycott stuff. So please, Thank you. <laughs> at least pretend. Do it off stream. Right, right, right. Okay, I'll put, it in, I'll put it in a glass. <laughs> is Pepsi okay? No! Is it? Okay. No soda, I, I didn't know. I didn't know it was like that. <laughs> Expo!
This is the only time that they have. This is the group that's saying that we're Christian. Keep 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 What's wrong with you? Please don't touch me. Get the back. Get out of here. Get out of here. Please do not touch me. I don't think this has got anything to do with being trans, gay, straight, white, black, whatever the fuck you are. This is just pure lunacy and they all need Michael. Get some help.